Blue Gold, nine sustainable development goals, nine episodes to discover inspirational stories about water. Episode five, transforming waste into a resource. The sludge is a local problem. When we have to evacuate the sludge, we must pay for transport and to uh, spread it on uh, fields or uh, to be in an incinerated uh, center. Today is actually that it costs money when you have to make something sustainable. We have to do something that is amazing. Thanks to our plant in cagnes sur mer we have the very first positive energy plant in France since January 2021. We worked on three goals, energy savings, energy consumption, and energy production. The plant produces more energy than it consumes. Waste, a byproduct of all we do, of everything we produce and process. Waste is not only an environmental problem, but also an economic drain. Today, 759 million people, one-tenth of the world's population, still do not have access to electricity. For some time now, the focus has been on finding ways to make our current resources more sustainable by making them cleaner and more affordable. But what if we took waste and turned it into a valuable resource? Could we change the future? Goal number seven is affordable and clean energy. In this episode, we will travel between the south of France, the French Riviera and Denmark, visiting three different sites where this magic happens, where waste is sustainably turned into energy. Let's first travel together to the French Riviera, its stunning Mediterranean coastline, its beaches and terraces, home to two million people and a well-loved holiday destination. But behind the scenes, municipalities and companies are working hard to keep cities running in a sustainable way. In Frisius, we met with Cédric Sabatini, who is Works Manager at OTV, a subsidiary of Veolia Water Technologies. The project in a river water treatment plant consists in building a big uh, tank of 4,000 uh, cubic meters of sludge. Use this sludge to produce biogas thanks to the action of uh, bacteria. Then this uh, biogas is uh, purified to be uh, injected in the GRDF natural gas network. To do so, in 2019, Rayron in Fréjus equipped its water treatment plant with a methanization unit. To make biogas suitable for use, membrane technology is used to convert it into biomethane. This technology requires very low energy and water to operate. About 10 million cubic meters of wastewater is uh, treated. This water produces about uh, 10,000 tons of sludge. We reduce the volume of sludge, so we don't have to transport this sludge. And then we produce a valuable uh, energy, which is biogas. And of course, by reducing the amount of sludge, it also decreases the costs of disposal and greenhouse gas emission. Not only does waste no longer pose a problem, but it becomes a resource. 50 kilometers further down the coast, in Cagnes-sur-Mer, with the expertise of OTV, the Metropole has launched a similarly ambitious project when it designed its new water treatment plant. Highly touristic zones are facing specific problems as Hervé Paul, vice president of the Metropole Nice Côte d'Azur, in charge of water, sanitation and energy, explains. It is true that in winter, the energy demand is lower than in summer, when all the hotels are full and second homes are all occupied. So this plant is flexible in that we can adjust both its input and output. In this case, Adapting to the fluctuations of rainfall and water treatment demand and treating the unpleasant smell released by the plant tanks were paramount. Louis Negre, the mayor of Cagnes-sur-Mer, tells us more about the objective of this inspiring undertaking. Now we are harvesting biomethane and the sludge has become a valuable energy source. The objective was to guarantee to our residents a reliable, modern, and of course, affordable 
Energy Service. Let's now leave the Côte d'Azur and its warm sunshine for a very different landscape and climate. Destination Denmark, to the small town of Belund, surrounded by its flat green fields. In Belund Biorefinery, they decided to go one step further. Could they reduce the amount of sludge even more while increasing the production of biogas? So using new technologies from Kruger Veolia, we are not just producing biogas one time, but actually two times on the same amount of, uh, of sewage sludge and, and food waste. My name is Ole Johnson. I was CEO of the Billon Water and Energy for the last 10 years. After sewage sludge and food waste have been anaerobically digested a first time, like in Frisius and cagnes sur mer Belund uses thermal hydrolysis, a combination of high pressure and high temperature that allows to crack the cell cores of the biomass still present in the remaining sludge, but that is otherwise not accessible to the bacteria. We basically are doing is actually we take this material and pressure cooking it. By this cracking the cell core, it's suddenly possible for us to digest the waste and the sewage slots one more time. And there are several important benefits to this process. One, of course, is that more biogas and then biomethane is produced. But also, the leftover, the remaining part of the food waste and sludge, is reduced by an extra 50%. Here we can reuse the waste into producing green energy. So actually, the people living in Billund municipality, when they put in a computer, the computer needs power. Some of this power is actually produced on waste and wastewater. But Billund Bio Refinery isn't satisfied with just producing electricity. They make it possible to harvest the heat this process produces, using it internally in the plant, but also delivering it to local homes. So actually almost 300 houses actually are getting heated all the year around, just from heat from waste and wastewater. Waste, the never-ending power of sludge. When waste becomes the resource, that is where the magic happens. Like in Frisius, by using anaerobic digestion to capture biomethane from wastewater sludge, which is then turned into energy. Or like in cagnes sur mer by implementing green infrastructures for effective and controlled energy savings. Climate change is real. As decision makers, we must do all that we can to reduce climate change and to adapt to it as quickly as possible. Overall, the results are positive. The plant produces more energy than it consumes. Or by going one step further, like in Bilund, and producing twice as much biomethane and reducing waste by 50% more. Private companies, municipalities, individuals, we all have responsibilities. We each have a role to play against this climate change. I think actually I'm very lucky because I actually have been given the chance to work with something that I really believe can change the climate or the world forever. The clock is ticking. Less than 10 years are left to meet the targets we have set ourselves. A decade for action, as the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, calls it. So, let's act today. We are all resources.